Hey everyone! So in this time lapse, I am doing a mixed media painting off a Cosmos flower. I started off with a black gessoed canvas, and I am now just working on blending in the background. To get the drippy effect, I'm using water and then followed by pouring acrylic ink paint into the water drop marks. Now I'm just using some texture paste with a stencil to add sort of like a frame around the canvas, just random texture pieces all over. I try to make sure that the texture is varied, so some places I'm applying the paste heavily and on some other areas it's a lot thinner. Now I'm going to start painting over all of the texture again and rework the background to sort of fade out the drip effects and obviously cover the uh, texture paste too. As I keep blending, I'm also misting the canvas to keep it um, blending easily. And I also rotate the canvas quite often as you'll notice because I want to make sure that I don't get a very um, common effect with my brush stroke and want it to be more random. You'll also notice that I, it looks like I'm constantly looking at the camera, but I'm actually not. It's my family members who are standing behind the camera who are talking to me, so I'm just talking back and um, it looks like I'm quite often looking at the camera. Now, this painting was done over several days. You'll notice that also with the change of my clothes and etc. and the, the camera moving around quite often. I did try to position the camera as best I could to get the entire canvas, but since it's a larger canvas, it was a little bit difficult. I didn't want to be too far that you wouldn't be able to see the details. So at this point, I started drawing out the flower shape of the cosmos and I was using the white paint. I don't usually put a base coat um, of white down when I do flowers, but this time around it was something different that I wanted to try. And I start working in layers of adding color. There's a subtle pink in the cosmos, so I started off with some of the magentas. And as paint dries, I move on to different parts off the canvas. So you'll see me move around. So over here I'm starting to add a little bit more details to the background. I'm using another stencil that has words with it and some iridescent paint. I'm also going to be laying the canvas down shortly which you won't be able to see in this video and adding some splatter of different colors.
So I start painting the sides of the canvas and also cleaning up all of the edges, making sure everything is neat and tidy. And that's all. If you guys have any questions regarding any of the techniques that I used or anything about this painting at all, definitely leave a comment below and I'll make sure to answer. Thanks for watching.